Hi, in this video we're going to join two or more video clips in DaVinci Resolve 16. Welcome to SharingYourPassion.com. I'm Chill and let's get it on. Alrighty, so here we are in DaVinci Resolve's um, edit tab or edit mode. So, of course everybody by now knows how to cut or split a video clip. So this is one big video clip right here. I use Control B to cut and position another section here. Control B, another cut. Control B. Control B. Or you can even use Control, what is that? Backs, backslash. The item has to be highlighted. Okay, Control backslash and Control backslash. So I, either way. For example, we want to get rid of some of our speech, like our ums, or the silences, or strange noises, pets barking in the background, or certain things in the image you want to edit out. Normally, you just select the clip, and I hit delete, and it moves everything together. That's a ripple delete. And I can remove another piece here. Make some more cuts, control B, control B. So after a while you have your ideal cuts and this is what you wanna roll with. Okay, so why would you wanna join clips together? Well, one big example that I needed to join clips together is if you're going to take your, all these cuts and apply some kind of transform, video transform, like a zoom position or any of these, rotation angle, anchor point, pitch, yaw, flip, and all these other ones, if you apply it to one clip, you're going to have to set that same exact thing for the next clip, and the next clip, and the next, it's going to be a mess. So to save time, if you're going to apply a video change, you want to join all these together again, so that one change will affect the whole clip. So for example, if I want to zoom here, I'll drag this to the right to zoom in and then I'll position it to where I want. So for example, if I want to make these changes carry over to the other clips, I'm going to have to do it individually per clip because when I click here, it's back to the default settings. Over here, it's back to the default settings. But over here, where I made a change, it has my changed settings. But it's only for that one clip. So if you want all these clips to have that same zoom and position and any other changes you made here, you're going to have to apply that to every single one of them. And that's a real pain in the, you know, where. But the best solution is, if we join all these together, and treat it as one big clip, then any changes we make here will be applied to the entire clip. So let's join all of these right now. So click here, the first clip, and click um, wherever you want to end this with a shift and click the end one. So it selects all of that. When you do a, a shift click, it will select everything in between the first click and your last click. So that's one of those tips to select multiple clips. Just select your first clip and shift and click the end clip and it'll select everything in between. Okay, intuitively I thought to join these clips, you just go over here to timeline and join clips, alt um, backslash, but that does nothing. I don't know what that thing does and I don't have time to look it up but what will join these actually is if you right click anywhere on the selected clips right click it brings up this menu and the very first one and it doesn't sound so you know it doesn't sound like you're joining it but it says new compound clip they should have just renamed that to join clips so if you click that, then it asks you to rename this set of clips. We'll just keep that name, 
create. And there you go, we now have one big continuous clip. So whatever changes you make here now, whether it's a zoom or a position or any of these, will be applied to the entire clip. You don't have to copy all of these attributes to each clip. So that's one big reason for knowing how to join clips. I hope you found this useful and if so, please give the video a like. Let me know down in the comment section below if you have other questions that I haven't addressed and I'll certainly get back to you as soon as I can. I'll be doing more videos like this so subscribe and click the notification bell to see those. And remember, it's my mission to give you the tools and inspiration to help you build your online business and transform your passion into success. Thank you.